guys, today's tutorial video is going to be on how to create an editable PowerPoint. Um, there are other ways to make editable resources. Um, I now use Adobe Pro for my resources when I make them editable, but it's expensive and it's not for everyone. Uh, before I had Adobe Pro, I only made them in PowerPoint. So this is how to do that. It's easy, it's simple, you're going to love it. And let's get into it. All right, so what I have open right now is a basic task card template. If you are interested in making your own task cards, you can go check out my video from last week, which is a task card template tutorial. But I'm gonna show you how to make this into an editable resource. You can use whatever resource you want and make it editable directly in PowerPoint. Um, and the steps are so easy. But right now in this task card template, you can see that I can move these boxes around. I could take this background out if I wanted to. These are not things that I want when I'm creating editable resources. So all I'd have to do is go into File, Save As. I would click on More Options, and I'm going to click down here where it says Save As Type, and I'm gonna choose PowerPoint Picture Presentation. I'm also gonna just change this name so I can differentiate between this one and the original one that I created. I'm gonna click on Save. I'm gonna go back into the folder now double click on the one I just saved. And now you're gonna notice that this whole thing is an image. I can't swipe out the background, I can't move those boxes. It's one image and it's flat. To make this editable now, I would go to insert and I would click on text box. And I would put in my text boxes wherever I want my buyers to be able to write or change my information. So I'm just gonna write type here just to show you what to do. But again, in whatever resources you're creating, you're probably not gonna be doing this in task card. You're gonna be doing it in another type of resource. You'll just put in your text boxes wherever you think you want your buyers to either type or where they can customize their information. Um, you could also put in a note to the buyer if they wanted to insert their own text boxes, they could. But I have found that it makes it easy when you have these text boxes in and you write in type here or put in something so they know where to put the information in. So that's one way. I actually have another way. Some people don't like that this background moves. So if you're one of those people who don't want that at all, I'm gonna go just go back now to my original task card template. This was the one where everything was movable. So instead of saving it as a picture file, I'm gonna to go to save as, and I'm gonna click now down here to where it says PNG, portable network graphics format. You could do it as a JPEG also. It doesn't really matter for what we're gonna accomplish here. So now I'm gonna click on save all slides trying to ask you tell you that your slide presentation has been saved in a separate folder i'm just going to create a new slide in this new slide i'm going to go now to where it says design and i'm going to format backgrounds here where it says picture or texture fill that's where i want to click and i'm going to go now to file and i'm going to find that slide that i just saved it's right here that's slide one and you would go into your folder and you would find your slide now this slide, I can't move this background at all. I cannot change where the background is. I can't resize it. This is the background of the page, so it's stuck there. And you can do this for all of the slides that you made. So now if I wanna go into new slide again, I'm just gonna delete all that background. I would go into format background. Again, that was in design, format background. I would go to picture or texture fill. I wanna to go to file and I'm gonna choose the second page that I have here and click on insert. So now this one cannot be moved. I can't change anything on here. All I would be able to do is either type in the text boxes that I would add or add in my own text boxes. So those are your options. Um, and that's really it. It's pretty simple. I hope that this was something that was useful for you and I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time. Bye.